What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Now, my good friend Benjamin here had requested a song via donation request on PayPal. And the song was like, okay, so how do I say that? So I pulled up Google Translate. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but this is how it's set. It's, this is a Colin McGinnis song. Oro shade the Vaha Valia. Now I'm pretending I know what that is, right? And I'm like, okay. So on this video, it did say an Irish folk song, right? I'm going to pull it up for you guys. And I'm going to show you exactly what it is via Wikipedia because I want to do some investigating first. Okay, check this out. Ah, you cannot see that. <laughs> I'm acting like you can see it. Okay, so here's, a, here's, a, here's the title again. Oro shade the Vaha Valia. Because I'm not even going to pretend that I can say that. Oroche Bathatha Bahalia uh, is a traditional Irish song that came to be known as the Rebel Song in the early 20th century. Oro is a cheer, while Se Du Breath Bahalia means welcome home. I hope I said that right. Let's see how bad I did. Oroche de Vaha Valia. Oroche de Bathatha Bahalia. I think I got it. Oh my God. So let's go back to the Wikipedia. So this is, uh, the, this is the video that we're doing. It is a, you see, I copied it. So I copy and paste it in my browser. Colin McGinnis music again. This guy is doing phenomenal. Almost 500,000 subscribers. He just gained another one last week being me. And if we go back to Wikipedia, it says that the, or, the origins of this song are obscure, but several versions of the tune and chorus can be identified. So there's a, I'm going to probably, uh, oh, oh, cool. Here is the translated version of the song in English. Hail a woman who was so afflicted. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I don't want to peek too much at the song. I want to start off and see, because I'm sure he's going to be speaking, uh, I think this is Irish. I hope I'm right. It says Irish folk song. So let's see what Colm McGinnis has for us. Okay, so call him here. Like, I've noticed in his videos that he is one of those chameleon-type singers that he can hit you with every vocal style imaginable and pull it off so effortlessly as well. Now, this is a very short, short song. If you look at the Wikipedia, again, in the English, we only got one, two verses and, you know, your three choruses. That's it. Short song. A minute and a half, maybe? Well, a little bit over a minute and a half. I just find this dude remarkably fascinating. Now, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just perplexed at how he's able to do this. It's like he has perfected this craft somehow, some way. He's a sorcerer. I'm convinced. Benjamin, what do you know that I don't know? Did he drink the magic juice or like, did he find a magic potion? Did he find the gold at the end of the rainbow? I don't know. What I do know is he's awesome. But we'll go into the lyrics after the song is over. That's what I feel like doing. Shell of Merloch To Jill to Leshna Kralif Horo Shilva Hoalia Horo Shilva Hoalia Horo Shilva Hoalia Amazing. Alright, so I okay. 
I'm looking at all of his vocal styles, whether he's singing from his diaphragm or he's using his head. You know, he's got this voice coming real nasally, his head voice. And it's fascinating because I'm like, I can honestly tell which one is which and who is what. And I love the balance here. It's not like he's not doing it like he did in the last song that I did where he was a bass singer and one, you know, he started the song up with like holy bass singers. Like, wow, like this dude is remarkably talented. And, and I noticed another person does this. Another bass singer does this as well. And that's Jeff Castellucci. Now he's really, really good too. He's capable of morphing his voice and his vocal styles as well. And beautifully at that. And then he does the videos where he layers them. He layers the sounds and he does this. And it's like he plays different characters. It's pretty insane. But Colm here is just playing himself. You know, I think that's awesome. It's kind of like making you guess. It's like a guessing game. Like which vocal style am I doing? And you got to kind of pay attention to the way he moves his mouth and his tongue and everything. It's cool, man. I'm, I'm learning a lot. I'm learning a lot just watching him. And I think that's great. He's a, he's a fascinating character, I tell you. I love his thumbnail picture, like his channel picture, because he's like, ah. <laughs> it just proves how silly he is. Like, this dude is, he's awesome, man. I love his whole personality. He's fun. I like fun. It makes me laugh. It makes me smile. It warms my heart. And this one here is going to be pretty funny if I check this one out. The Humors of Whiskey. If you guys are a Colum McGinnis fan, and you have been, like Benjamin, again, thank you for the donation request. I really appreciate it. It helps me keep this channel growing. Also, my Patreon, I'll link it up in the card section. Uh, it was probably somewhere in the beginning of this video. Uh, if you want to support the channel, help me out. You can join the Patreon. It's awesome. And I'm going to be starting a movie reaction channel soon. And all of the unedited versions are going on to the $10 Patreon level. <gasps> Can't wait to start that. Anyways, so if you guys know Colin McGinnis and if you have been a fan of his and you know something that I don't know or something is your favorite song that Colin has done, drop it down in the comment section. I would love a suggestion. You know, I'm, I'm trying to, I can't get to all of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't, but I'll try my best, you know, to, and I like to keep doing this guy, man. And I like it that Benjamin is sending him to me like, do this. I'm like, okay. See how easy that is. All right, you guys, you take care of yourselves. Take care of one another you stay kind stay humble you know the the whole nine yards be a good person i just want to see if there's something if i missed anything i don't want to short change them for that five seconds i don't think i did but it's worth checking out the hor the humors of whiskey only an irish song would make a song about whiskey yeah i like jameson once in a while you guys but i drink it with pickle juice have you ever had a pickle back oh my can't do those a lot. Just like do one and done. That's me. I'm like, no, I'm so lame. I swear. All right, y'all. I'm just Jen. <laughs> Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you tap the notification bell. I usually, when I upload, I stick around for about 20 to 30 minutes after I upload to answer people's comments. Whoever comes first, I'll answer your comments, give you a little heartsy poo or whatever. So, you know, I try. I cannot physically answer every comment that comes my way because we get a lot over here ah geez oh pates i wish i could answer them all if i you know see one that needs help i'm gonna do that but okay i'm rambling on now take care guys i'm just jen <laughs> bye now